I got involved about a year and a half ago uh, during the lockdown, during the pandemic. Zach really wanted to start writing again. And so every day he would go to his office and he would kind of lock himself in until like 4 p.m. and write. He finds writing quite tricky. He's very good at it, but he finds it hard to get going. Um, and so basically throughout this time where everybody didn't know what to do with their lives, he started writing and being creative and opening his mind to a story. Um, and so throughout that whole process, I was obviously there listening to the pieces of where he was going to go with this story and who he was thinking of, and he wrote this movie for me. So I've kind of been hearing about it <laughs> ever since the, the beginning. I'd never had a character that was so well matched with how I could play someone, how she sounded, and also I had someone write a, a character for me knowing full well what I was capable of and knowing full well what he could get out of me. And that was only reassuring and inspiring. And I've never been in that position where someone's written something uniquely for me because they know me. Um, and you'd think that it, it would make it easier. If anything, it makes it wonderfully more challenging because that person knows exactly what you're capable of. Um, so I read it and was very proud of him, obviously, but just so excited to do pretty much every single scene in the script. He writes such good dialogue that it makes you slip into those characters and the, that world so easily. I was really, really just proud of uh, the uh, like our dynamic and how we understood what each other meant and why that person would need that from the script or from the filmmaking process or from each other. Um, and he was incredibly respectful of, of listening and, and adapting things if it didn't feel right. And I don't think that was just specifically to me, obviously I know I'm connected to Zach in a different way, but one of his biggest gifts is um, letting it go if it doesn't feel right. And whether it's a crew member or, a, or, a, or an actor that doesn't feel comfortable with saying a line or comfortable with doing a move or, or anything, he really is someone that's been in every position uh, before he was this amazing director or actor. And so I think his understanding of it has to feel good, it has to feel right, and then that will be the most uh, authentic, unique performance from you, meant that everybody just felt safe all the time and everybody felt excited to do whatever idea it was that they wanted to do. And when you have that level of safety, A, it means that the, the set is happy and B, it means that you all feel completely included in, in the fact that this film got made and in the way that it got made. Our two characters, Daniel and, and Alison, are constantly going head to head whether it be their age is going head to head, whether, whether it be that they are uh, needing friendship in this part of their lives. They are both coming to each other with a need for some sort of love and some sort of validation in moving on with their lives. Um, and working with Morgan Freeman with doing that kind of matched both of our personalities perfectly. Um, you know, he's a legend. <laughs> Everybody has ultimate respect for him the moment he comes on set. Um, and he commands space and he commands power. And that is exactly how Daniel has possibly led his life as well. In terms of casting my mum, Alison has to come from a totally loved household, but also a scatty household. Um, she's had a, a dad that left her uh, when she was younger with nothing other than her mum in the house. And her mum has also tried to deal and handle that as well. So casting Molly Shannon as the mum who's totally lovable but also hasn't got her shit together was perfect casting. And just in terms of the different energies that both those two different characters then bring to set meant that Alison also could be those two different energies, which was really cool.